Hey survivors and thrivers, welcome to the video. I'm going to be discussing character assassination. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, you could do this through the live chat or by clicking the PayPal link in the video description. If you are interested in a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, Narc Survivor, please send me an email. My email address is also in the video description. First I am going to read the definition from Wikipedia, which I believe describes character assassination. Character assassination is a deliberate and sustained process that destroys the credibility and reputation of a person. Agents of character assassinations employ a mix of open and covert methods to achieve their goals, such as raising false accusations, planting and fostering rumours, and manipulating information. Character assassination is an attempt to tarnish a person's reputation. It may involve exaggeration, misleading half-truths, or manipulation of facts to present an untrue picture of the targeted person. Character assassination is something you will experience around narcissists and toxic people. Character assassination is an assassination of your character. Narcissists are full of self-hate, insecurities and inferiority, which then leads to hate, anger, envy and jealousy towards you. The cause of a narcissist's desire to assassinate your character is their pathological envy and jealousy. Their pathological envy and jealousy has built up through their regret of losing control of you. The character assassination is driven by their pathological envy and jealousy and obsessive need to control you. You may experience character assassination from the people closest to you. People who you would expect to love and support you the most. Your family, close friends, relationship partner, co-workers or boss. You are likely a loving, ambitious, creative and enthusiastic person. This is where the envy comes in, as narcissists do not possess these qualities. They can only imitate what they have seen from other people who do possess these qualities. It comes to you naturally, so now they are envious, they want to take that away from you. They also become jealous when they picture you sharing these amazing qualities with someone else. They imagine how satisfying and fulfilling it would be for you and the other person if you did share your loving, ambitious, creative and enthusiastic personality with someone else. They haven't got much to share with another person, but they know that you have. And they also know that they cannot get the same fulfillment that you can, because they do not possess the same qualities. They are jealous because all of those qualities which you possess are naturally going to take you out of the narcissist's control. Your personality traits are going to lead you to develop social circles and love and relationships. Your ambition is going to lead you into having a successful career. Your creativity is going to lead you into creating new ideas, having new hobbies and interests. And your enthusiasm is going to allow you to enjoy all of this. All of these personality traits will take you out of the narcissist's control. This is why the narcissist is so jealous of your character. If you are watching this video, you are likely a free-spirited person. Someone with a high, highly individual or unique attitude lifestyle or imagination, a non-conformist, a person who does not conform to prevailing ideas 
or practices in their behaviors or views. When the narcissist fir first met you, this was exactly what they liked about you. This is what made you stand out among everyone else. But over time they became envious and jealous and started to realize that these very qualities could take you out of their control. Narcissists are not free spirited people. This is why it can appear as though no matter what part of the world you are from, they all seem to have exactly the same ideas or practices in their behaviors or views. They are not individual or unique, but you are, and that's why you stood out to them. Narcissists also have perceived limitations, and I've done a video on this, so please check that out. They live their lives within these perceived limitations due to their low self-worth, low self-esteem, low self-assurance, and low self-belief. Because of this, they believe that they need to limit you. They know that you have the capabilities to create a life without them and progress further than they ever could. This is what makes them so hateful, angry, envious and jealous towards you, which then drives them to assassinate your character. I have noticed with an narcissist in my environment, it's like they would rather me be anyone but myself. When I am being authentic and really feeling like myself, they will be more abusive. So it trains me to dissociate and subconsciously be whatever ca character they have tried to turn me into in the past in an attempt to avoid the abuse and be received more positively. They use some form of psychoanalysis to tap into the subconscious. They psychoanalyze every aspect of your character and then give it a negative meaning. You could be the most loving, ambitious, creative and enthusiastic person in the world. The narcissist doesn't want to see that side of you. But they know that this is your true, authentic personality. They will psychoanalyze every aspect of your character and push and provoke you to the point until you become exactly what they said you were. Almost everything they do is designed to create what they want to see in your character. They will re remove people and things that resonate with your true, true character in an, an attempt to destroy this true, authentic part of you. They will then move people and things that resonate with the character that they are trying to create into your proximity. They will then push and provoke you until you do resonate with whatever it is they have in their minds, whatever it is they have been telling people about you. In their warped, delusional minds, this somehow means that this is your true character. Of course, they cannot take into consideration everything they have done which pushed and provoked you into becoming this person. They are self-absorbed, emotionally immature, and lack empathy. They do not accept responsibility or accountability for anything that they do. They use manipulation tactics like denial, projection, blame shifting, and gaslighting to make you and everyone else believe that you are the problem or there is something wrong with you. Because they do not accept responsibility or accountability for anything that they do, they can never learn from their mistakes or grow from them. This leaves them stuck in this self-absorbed and emotionally immature state where they make the same faults and mistakes again and again without ever self-reflecting.
The Narcissus creates the perfect environment to reconstruct your character. They will remove people and things that resonate with your true and authentic character. They will move people and things that resonate with the character that they are trying to construct into your proximity. They will then push and provoke you until you do resonate with whatever they want. In their minds, this somehow means that you are the character that they originally told everyone you were. Despite the fact that they have put all of their time and effort into constructing this character, The fact that you are now acting or behaving in this way now justifies all of the abuse and manipulation it took for them to construct this character. Deep down I think the narcissist knows that we are products of our environment. So when you take away that which resonates and replace it with that which does not, naturally you are going to make an attempt to relate to this. At least in an attempt to resolve the cognitive dissonance, which are your two conflicting beliefs. When they have taken away what originally resonated with you and replaced it with something else. This is now going to be something you are going to try to resonate with to resolve the confusion in your mind. The narcissist creates the perfect environment, the perfect situation to create their own character for you. In their warped delusional minds, they somehow believe that this is justified because it then proves that you have been that character all along. When really, it is likely that if, if they put someone else in that same environment or situation, the result would be far worse. The narcissist does not see it this way because they are self-absorbed, emotionally immature and lack empathy. They also don't really care if you were that character all along or not. They just want you to be this undesirable or distasteful character now so that they can control you. So that they can finally act out on the intense hate anger, envy and jealousy they feel towards you. They feel this way because you are loving, ambitious, creative and enthusiastic. You have qualities which they wish they had but have to imitate because it doesn't come naturally for them. They know that you have the capabilities to leave them and achieve and obtain where they couldn't. They know that you are free-spirited while they have all of these perceived limitations. This has nothing to do with anything you have said or done. That's just what they want you to think. So they can justify their abuse and manipulation and smear in your name to everyone you know. The truth is, they are pathologically envious and jealous of you and they regret losing control. The narcissist will fight with you over being a certain way towards them or someone else. They will claim that there is something undesirable or distasteful about your character and will then fight with you over this. This gives you cognitive dissonance or two conflicting beliefs which you are then trying to resolve. You may naturally try to seek validation or closure from the narcissist who will then dictate or tell you what you are. Naturally you might subconsciously accept that there is some truth to this as you are confused and trying to resolve your cognitive dissonance. You may want to resolve the situation to end the fight as you realize that what you resist persists. 
You may believe that there will be less fights, less abuse and manipulation if you just accept what the narcissist is saying to you and then you can go back to being relaxed and at peace with yourself. This is all part of the narcissist's plan. They know that you desire peace. This is what motivates them to continue feeding you their version of your character. They know that at some point your desire for peace will override fighting with them over what is your truth and authenticity. They know that at some point, if they continue to push and provoke you in this way, you will soon become everything they said you were. Many of them understand human psychology. They know how the brain works. So when you see them coming to you and they appear so confident and sure about what type of per person you are, this isn't because of anything you have said or done in the past. It's because they have studied the human psychology behind this process they have created for you. And they know it's only a matter of time until you do become everything they have constantly told you you are. The narcissist removes whatever it is that resonates with your true and authentic character. They will then replace this with what will resonate or create the character that they want to produce. They will tell you every day or covertly communicate to you in some way that this character is who you are. If you are told something every day and you have nothing of true resonance to remind you of who you are, naturally at some point you are going to believe it. The narcissist understands this. Many of them have studied human psychology and the brain. They know how the brain works. They know that without any resonance or anything to remind you of who you really are, naturally you are going to adjust to their version of your character over time. There really is no way around this. The longer you are around these people, the longer you are in this environment when nothing resonates with your true authentic character and everything resonates with the character that they are trying to construct at some point you will become this person and then they will have all of the evidence they need to support their smear campaign They will never self-reflect or look at their own actions and everything they have done to get, to, to get you to this point. They don't look at their own actions. Remember they don't accept responsibility or accountability for anything that they do. They are perfect and do not make mistakes. Everything is your fault. Anything that led up to this point will somehow be twisted and rewritten in a way that it was all your responsibility and they had nothing to do with it. They don't really care or consider as much for what happened in the past. What matters to them is the, the most is the finished product which is the character that they are trying to construct. When they start to see the results of their obsessive programming into your character, they will then have some relief and become more comfortable around you. There may even be some form of excitement, a sense of power and control. Once you adopt the traits of this new character, 
they will then react to you more positively, which releases dopamine within the brain. This gives you a sense of reward, as though you are doing the right thing. It's a training program designed to erase you at, at, at a core level and then reconstruct your character into whatever they would like it to be. Which is never going to be anything good of course, as they are pathologically envious and jealous and anything good about you triggers them to reflect on everything bad about themselves. It really displays the insane depth of their pathological envy and jealousy. It's like they would rather you to be anyone else, literally anyone else but you. I guess that just means how great your true authentic self must be. Your loving, ambitious, creative and enthusiastic personality. They are trying to do whatever they can to destroy that. Now, uh, now I am going to talk about the gang stalking side of character assassination. This might not resonate with your experiences if you have not experienced gang stalking or smear campaigns. As I am walking outside and going about my life, they will strate strategically target specific people, cars and objects. This is all designed to change my perception of myself and other people. They also make occasional indirect comments. This is a process done to make me reflect back myself and change my character in an attempt to survive amongst the abuse. When the brain feels that it is under attack, it doesn't think rationally. All it cares about is survival. All day every day they display people who dress like someone I know or drive the same car as someone I know or have some similar trait or characteristic, whether real or an act. When this is done in an abusive environment where I am already dissociating, it seems to trick me into taking on the traits or characteristics of that person. It's not because I don't like myself and want to be the person whose traits or characteristics they are displaying to me. It's like a survival mechanism of the brain. When you are being abused and it's still damaging you even as you dissociate. It's like the only other option is to take on the suggestion of characteristics or traits that they are displaying to you. Of course, the gang stalkers then psychoanalyze you during and after this process. And once they believe that they have tapped into the dissociative part of your mind, they will then adjust the environment so that it reflects back to you who they want you to be. They will display people, cars or objects that relate to whoever your dissociated character is in that moment, which is very easy for them to figure out as they are the ones that forced you out of your authentic self and into that char character. It's like in their minds they are thinking, be anyone else, just don't be you, please not you, it hurts too much. It reveals the depth of their pathological envy and jealousy. They want to erase their target at a core level to the point where they don't even know who they are anymore. Someone even emailed me saying that the tone of my voice 
appears to change in my recent videos. I then became aware as I was recording that the gang stalkers are tapping into my subconscious mind from outside of my apartment. It's like some form of demonic energy which is trying to completely erase you as a person. So you may, may notice that I dissociate in some of my recent videos as they manage to perfect their art of manipulation or character reconstruction. But this was not my intention. My intention is always to be authentic and true to myself. Unfortunately, the last person the gang stalkers want me to be is myself. And that really proves just how great my, my true authentic self must be. The fact that they want to change it and constantly devalue and degrade my authentic self. They also have all of these alternate inter inter interpretations of everything. They feed different meanings of words or try to make a word sound, sound like something else. When they are in my proximity, they will say my name to someone else or say something similar to my name. This is an attempt to make me think that I am hearing things or I am going crazy. When really, it's just a part of their grooming process. This is just a very short description of their psychoanalysis, programming and character assassination and reconstruction. I hope this video helps targets of character assassination and gang stalking. They will do whatever they can in a, an attempt to change your character, to make people perceive you in a different way. They will do whatever they can to make you think you are going crazy or something is wrong with you. Always stay true to your own perception, your own intuition. You cannot trust these types of people as they are pathological liars and hate the truth. They will do whatever they can to disguise or hide the truth because the truth will expose them for what they really are. Some of the most distasteful and undesirable people you will ever meet. And that's what drives their obsessive need to destroy you. Thank you for watching, I hope this video has resonated with you, please like, comment, share and subscribe, talk to you soon.